Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Aspen Entomology and today I'm doing an egg check in my Cotinus nitida rearing enclosure. Despite being a species of flower beetle, Cotinus nitida is commonly known as the green june beetle and is notable in appearance for its bright green coloration. Their appearance however can still be variable. The one you see me holding here is very green while the other one, which you will see later in the video, is more of a yellow color. I'm going to start by transferring this beetle to its own separate container. Then I'm going to remove these chunks of round wood from the top of the substrate. After that, I'm going to dump all the substrate out into bins and search through it for eggs by hand. According to the Ultimate Guide to Breeding Beetles by Oren McMonagall, Cotinus nitida apparently lay their eggs in a circular formation, although I'm not entirely sure what that looks like. At this point, I was a little surprised that I hadn't found eggs yet, as it's supposed to be very easy to get females to lay 60 to 80 eggs. It's supposed to be possible to distinguish males from females through their abdominal sternites. That is, the lower abdomen of the male is concave, while that of the female is convex. Eventually, I had gone through all the substrate with no eggs to show for it, and I couldn't help but ask myself, did I end up with two males? I had performed the check on them before, and I was positive that I had both a male and a female, but with no signs of mating and no eggs, I had to perform the check again. And when I looked, I wasn't happy with what I saw. Both beetles were almost exactly the same. I don't know how I could have made this mistake. Although Cotinus nitida is a fairly common species, I have trouble finding them in my neighborhood, and I just hope that I can find a female soon enough. Although that might be disappointing, I'm not giving up yet and it can't stop me from trying to breed this awesome native beetle. Although that news might be disappointing, I still have something pretty cool to show you all. I managed to find a male Phaneus windex, also known as the rainbow dung beetle. Now, I won't be trying to breed this for obvious reasons that I shouldn't have to explain, but I've been keeping it in this small critter keeper, and it's a pretty awesome addition to my collection. that's all for this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.